Hello, thank you for joining us on the USUC Saddle YouTube channel dedicated to assistive technology research and development. This is another video that features a supermarket trial of our ShopTalk system at Lee's Marketplace in Logan, Utah. ShopTalk is a proof-of-concept wearable system designed to assist visually impaired shoppers with finding shelf products in supermarkets and grocery stores. The system is based on a simple conceptual formula, independent blind shopping equals verbal route directions plus shelf barcode scans. This individual is a cane user. She has selected a product and is now following a set of verbal instructions generated automatically by the system from the topological map of the supermarket. The route in this section of the video starts in the store's lobby and ends at the aisle where the selected product resides. When the shopper scans any shelf barcode, the system begins to use its database called the barcode connectivity matrix. The database associates each shelf barcode with an aisle number, the side of the aisle, a shelf section number, a shelf number in that shelf section, and a relative position in the shelf. When the shopper scans a shelf barcode, the system can tell her, for example, you are in aisle 5, or move two shelves down, or scan five barcodes left, or walk ten feet down. The shopper receives uh, these instructions through a headphone. Notice how the shopper first finds shelf barcodes by touch and then scans them by aligning the barcode scanner with the help of two plastic stabilizers on both sides of the scanner. After the target product, the, tar the target barcode rather is scanned, the shopper reaches over, gets the product and puts it into the basket. The system's hardware consists of a computational unit, uh, the OKO Model 01 computer, a Belkin numeric keypad, a wireless barcode scanner, and its base station, a USB hub that connects all components. The user wears, as you can see, a small camel backpack to carry the equipment. The numeric keypad is attached by a Velcro strip to one of the backpack shoulder tra uh, straps. To qualify for these experiments, each, bar uh, each participant had to give us evidence of independent travel, independent walks around the neighborhood, and independent use of public transportation. We were following, as you can see, each shopper with the Lufkin wheel, a distance measuring device. We used this wheel to systematically estimate the distance walked by each participant. We noticed that the more the participants used the system, the smaller was the total distance they walked in the store. A key finding was that uh, the verbal route directions were sufficient for our sample of independent travelers to navigate the supermarket reliably and retrieve uh, products. The more the people use the system, the less they requested verbal route directions. As soon as they heard the aisle of a selected product, they would just go there independently. If this finding generalizes to the entire population of independent, uh, independent visually impaired travelers, it suggests that verbal route directions may well be sufficient for uh, independent buying grocery shopping. The important point of shop talk is that the store may not uh, need to be instrumented with any external sensors such as RFID tags, Wi-Fi routers, and IR transmitters. And we would like to uh, take this opportunity to thank the late Mr. Lee Badger, the founder of Lee's Marketplace. We met with Mr. Badger in early 2004 when this system was nothing but a bunch of drawings and PowerPoint slides and he grasped everything right away and gave us permission to uh, use his store in Logan, Utah for our experiments. A very forward-thinking man.